Hi, my name is Carrie Milestone. I'm a wildlife technician with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, stationed at the Sand Hill Meadow Valley Work Unit in Babcock. Did you know there's a place you can go and see bison roam like they did almost 150 years ago? Well, there is, and that place is Sand Hill Wildlife Area. But before we get to the bison, let me tell you a little bit about Sand Hill. Sand Hill Wildlife Area is located in central Wisconsin and is a 9,150 acre wildlife area that is surrounded by a 10 foot high deer proof fence. The fence allows us to maintain our own deer herd which creates a unique opportunity for wildlife and habitat research along with controlled hunting. Sandhill also has a 14 mile drive through nature trail called Trumpeter Trail. Visitors register at the entrance, enter through a gate, drive the trail, and exit out another gate when they are finished. Visitors can see the variety of habitat and wildlife that Sand Hill has to offer. The herd at Sand Hill currently consists of one adult male, nine adult cows, and four calves that were just born this year. Bison are herd animals. The herd consists of varying levels of hierarchy or pecking order. The higher up on the pecking order are the stronger dominant animals. Bison don't typically do well as solitary animals. I often get asked how to tell the difference between the boys and the girls. Cows and bulls both have horns. The female's horns curl in when mature, while the males continue to point straight up. The horns also continue to grow throughout their lives, just slower as they age. Many people think the bull is the leader of the herd, but that's not true. The lead cow has that responsibility. She decides where the herd will go to eat, when to go to water, and when to move to keep everyone safe. The bull will tag along with the herd, but often he can be found lagging behind or off to the side. Sometimes he'll even wander away on his own. However, if the bull thinks there is a threat, he'll move in to defend his girls. Bison breed in late summer through fall. After about nine and a half months, calves are born. We've had calves born on Sand Hill anywhere from April through November but most often in April and May. Bison are primarily grazers, not browsers, meaning they eat grass and other vegetation they find growing on the ground. They do not typically eat woody vegetation like trees and brush. There are two water holes in the pasture. These provide water during the non-winter months. During the winter, they'll lick snow to obtain the water they need. The herd on Sand Hill receives supplemental feeding in the winter of hay, but only a little bit. In the wild, bison do not have the ability to eat as much grass in the winter. The bison's body has adapted to handle this by reducing their metabolic rate. What does this mean? Have you ever seen those pictures of bison in Yellowstone? You know, the ones where the bison is standing in belly deep snow, steam coming out of its nostrils. They're not just standing there waiting to get their picture taken. They're standing there because their body starts to slow down due to a lack of food and the reduced metabolic rate. It's not hibernation, but it's similar. Why do bison roll in the dirt? They do something called wallowing. Bison will lay down on their side and rock their bodies back and forth. While doing this, they're scraping at the dirt with their horns and hooves. This activity has several uses. Primarily, this is used for dusting. Dusting helps to remove shedding fur, itch bug bites, and reduce ticks and lice. Wallowing is also done as a social gathering to play or show who's boss. For male bison, during the rut, they'll take and urinate in the wallow before rolling in it. This marks their territory and shows dominance. From a habitat standpoint, wallows are a form of disturbance. It's bare ground where seeds like lupin can land and begin to grow. I'd like to share a story with you of something I witnessed about 12 years ago. It was winter time and I was feeding the bison hay with a tractor at the barn. I noticed there was a trail from the bison going down to the water hole. Now it had been winter, everything was frozen. I knew they weren't getting water down there, so what were they doing? Curiosity got the better of me, so I got in the tractor and I started driving to the water hole. Up behind me comes the lead cow with the whole herd in tow. 
pass me up in the tractor and go down to the water hole. I get there and the whole herd is standing on the ice. My first thought is, oh no, the ice is going to break, they're going to fall in and they're going to drown. But then I noticed the lead cow was doing laps around the ice. Like she was looking for something. She got to just the right spot, used her front hoof, hit the ice twice and broke about a six inch hole in the ice. With the weight of all the animals on the ice, the water bubbled up and they all had fresh water to drink. And you know the way she was looking on that ice for just that right sweet spot, she'd done that before. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've learned a little something about bison. And I hope you're also excited to come visit us here at Sand Hill. Our trumpeter trail is open from mid-April till the end of October. If you've never been here, you don't know what you're missing. And if you've been here before, come back because there's always something new. Thank you.